Morning everyone, it's Dave Weiner here. It is Tuesday, March 27th, 2018. Today I want to just show you how to upload uh, some o an OPML file to Feedbase. So I have one sitting out here on my desktop and I just drag it in. You can see that it's called smallfeedlist.opml. And you see this upload icon? I just drag it up here and all it says is just drop your OPML file here. And I do, and then it takes me back to see the list of things that I've subscribed to. There's another way to do this. You could just click on the icon, and then it'll come up and ask you for the feeds, or for the OPML file. And then you can always get to the OPML file by just clicking on this icon right here. And I'm just a little bit off screen. And that goes for pretty much any page on um, feed base and so you could like be at the home page which is what we call the hot list and if you clicked on the XML icon there it would take you to the OPML file for the hot list and just a little bit of philosophy before I go um, the idea of doing all this is to get your subscriptions into a place where they can be used by lots of different applications and uh, most feed readers aren't prepared to subscribe to an OPML file, and that's the change that I hope we can drive here. And there are already a few of them that are working with me on this, and hopefully all of them. And it, it doesn't mean that they won't handle subscriptions. They certainly will. Um, but this is just another way of getting uh, feeds, getting subscriptions into the systems that is external. Uh, let me just show you, well, as long as we're here, I'll just show you one other thing. Um, this is my feed, which I'm already subscribed to, of course. Let me just move this up a little bit. And then you can see the list of the other people that are subscribed. And if I unsubscribe, very simply, the button changes to subscribe, and my name gets removed from the list. Of course, I still want to subscribe to my own feed, and so there I do. And then you can just go... Like let's take Andrew Shell's list. These are the things that he subscribes to. Different, obviously, but still, it's kind of cool. This is the cool thing. And then you can just pop around, see who else is subscribed to Slashdot. And yeah, before you upload anything, I just want to make it really clear that everything you upload is public. This is a public system. This is all about sharing your subscription lists. So. Anyway, that's it. That's today's demo. I'll have more coming up soon, I hope. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.